Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested question using Taylor series, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this L that is limit, X is going to zero, sine of X over one minus X squared minus X over X cubed. We will not be using L'Hopital's rule, but using the Taylor series of the sine of the X first. So sine of the X, is represented as x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus, say, big O of x to the power of 5. About this big O, that means the remainder is now bounded by constant times x to the power of 5. And then we can notice how limit when x is going to 0, right? x over 1 minus x squared, okay, this is equal to 0. So that is why the sine of x over 1 minus x squared minus x. Okay, this is going to be just the same as x over 1 minus x squared minus x. Okay, then we have minus the whole thing. x over 1 minus x squared, now cube, over 3 factorial. And then plus the big O of everything x over 1 minus x squared to the power of now 5. Okay, so if you work this out, then it has to be the same as this term is now x minus x times x 1 minus x squared. That over 1 minus x squared. And then minus 1 over 3 factorial is 1 over 6, right? So 1 over now 6. And then that times x cubed over 1 minus x squared cubed. And this term is just the same as plus big O of x to the power of 5. Okay, so then based on this, we can just talk about this limit. So let me just write this down again. Limit x is going to 0. Sine of x over 1 minus x squared minus x over x cubed. Okay, then this is going to be just the same as limit x is going to zero still. And we have one over one minus x squared. And then that minus one over six times one over one minus x squared entire thing squared. Then that plus the big O of x to the power of five. So working on this, first of all, the limit of this term is equal to just the 1, right? So this whole thing is the same as this is equal to 1, and then that term, the second term is 1 over 6. Add about this big O of x to the power of 5. The limit when x is going to 0, that the big O is equal to 0. So plus 0. So the answer for this question is 1 minus 1 over 6. That is 5 over 6. Okay, this is the answer for the question. It's a pretty interesting limit question using Taylor series of sine of x. How amazing. 